Hey guys, welcome to the shop. This is just a follow up to our rust balloon video yesterday. I did want to show you guys the finished product. Uh, we didn't have this guy on camera. <coughs> Excuse me. I had finished this gun before I started filming this guy. Uh, I think this turned out really nice for what it is. Uh, we've got no real splotchiness or unevenness. Now we've got a couple of spots near the um, soldered or brazed areas. That's not completely unexpected, uh, but it turned out pretty nice. I did give, I did you know give the wood a quick once over just to clean it up a little bit. It was in in rough shape when it came in, but these turned out really well. Uh, now I think a lot of people make the mistake of conflating rust bluing with cold bluing. Uh, I've actually had customers argue with me before about it, telling me I'm trying to use the cold blue out of a bottle. Uh, now this is good for screw heads and scratching things, uh, which fortunately doesn't happen too much here. So I'm not often uh, stuck with repairing those. Now rust bluing in, in my case is, is an acid based product process. Uh, there's a little bit of skill to it and your, your prep work really does matter a lot. I mean, really 90% of the job is in the prep work. Uh, not necessarily time-wise, just because you've got to wait for everything to boil, but at least effort-wise, if you don't prep it properly, you get a really bad result. Uh, one nice thing though is <clears throat> to get an even blue without visible scratches, you don't need to polish up as highly as you would for a hot tank blue and you can get away with a little bit in the polishing at least when you're at a 220 grit finish which is what's this gun got uh, just because the acid will bite into that and kind of even it out for you once you get up about um, 320 400 you really got to start being careful because at that point uh, the acid doesn't bite as well so from a cost benefit perspective, I find 220 grit finish to be about as good as it gets with rust bluing. I have gone up higher. Uh, I struggle to get everything to rust in a timely manner when we're looking at a 600 grit finish. So I do, I do try to deter people from that because the, the price really skyrockets at that point. Um, as to prices, you have to think your average over under side by side is going to hover around $600 which is really about the going rate. I think most most shops, I, I'm probably going to have to raise prices again because it is slightly more than a day of work to do all of that. Uh, I know a couple of shops I deal with charge about $800 for the same work, but unfortunately, this isn't a location here that will really absorb that. Uh, $600 is honestly a stretch to get around here. Uh, people definitely hem and haw at hot tank bluing at about $350 to $400 a gun, uh, prep work included. So, you win some and you lose some. Now, this gun didn't cost that because uh, we didn't do the receiver. I didn't have to do any disassembly on it. I just did the barrel for the customer. Uh, and I'm not going to tell you what he paid because it's really irrelevant to this video. Uh, this case, this was a bluing patch job. This wasn't a whole reblue. Uh, I can hold the gun up. You, you can't see it under this light here, um, but we have a slightly plum hue on top where I repaired the bluing. Uh, there was some rust to it, which is not the end of the world. I think it actually came out really nice. Uh, under artificial lighting, you, you can't see or notice any uh, change in color. It I needed the bright sunlight we had yesterday to really notice it. And I'm quite confident the customer is going to be happy with these. I, I think they turned out quite well. And honestly, it was a little bit of fun. This is kind of a nice uh, low stress break from other some of my other work. You know, generally speaking, things go well with rust blowing. I haven't had any craziness yet. Now, these old single shots, uh, this Ithaca Model 66 Super Single, something like that, uh, Never seen or heard of them before, but I kind of like them. I think they're going to be fun. I'll probably actually go shooting with this guy in the near future and, and put a few more rounds through this. Now, I try to test fire everything I do major work on here uh, above and beyond the terms of my insurance policy. Now we're getting a little bit more into the business side. 
because this is a liability heavy business and you'll notice here and this is a very deliberate choice i tend to only show one part or half of the process i'm i'm really worried about people mistaking what this channel is as truly instructional content trying to copy something and hurt themselves and that's not my my intention at all this is mostly me sharing projects for fun so we're not going to get into any disassembly of firearms or assembly of firearms on this channel you know refinishing stuff i'm i'm a little i'm not too worried about the insurance liability of of sharing stuff like that uh, mostly you're going to hurt yourself with the chemicals and I don't tell people what chemicals I use um, because, again, I, I don't really want to deal with people burning themselves, getting pretty nasty chemical burns. And, you know, the only hint I'll give you is this is an acid-based project process. So you really don't want to get these things in your eyes, on your skin or on your clothes. Uh, not great. I mean, it's not as bad as some of the, the hot tank bluing. The hot tank blooming chemicals are pretty terrifying. Uh, I've looked at them and I believe if you want to blue stainless steel, it's calcium hydroxide is the basis of a lot of those. And that's not stuff I want to work with. Um, not comfortable with it. You know, the regular hot tank stuff scares me enough because you got to think you, you basically got a, a five gallon bucket full of 400 degree, you know, super saturated salt solution. It, it ain't stuff you want to be dealing with much if you can avoid it. So on that note, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll probably leave a comment um, and we'll, we'll see what the customer reaction is on these. I do, I do think they turned out pretty well.